Welcome to today's presentation on how to scan documents using your tablet or phone. Today, during this presentation, we will cover why scanning apps are useful, what apps can be used to scan, how to use them for scanning, and where to access your scanned documents. One, why it's useful. Scanning documents on your tablet or phone is a very convenient and easily accessible method to scan your documents instantly. It's a quick way to get scanned documents without needing a scanner machine. You can easily back up or transfer your documents, portable access anywhere, quick sharing of files and documents. It's a paperless method, so you'll be reducing your paper and ink usage, and it works for papers, ID cards, and more. Two, what apps can be used to scan? Some apps you could use for scanning include Tap Scanner, Google Drive, the Notes app, but for Apple only, and the Microsoft Office Lens app. Choosing a scanning app. Tap Scanner can be used for both Apple and Android devices. It's free or you can upgrade to premium for a yearly price of $64.90, which will give you more options. The Google Drive app is for both Apple and Android devices as well. It is also free, and one of the benefits is that the scans are backed up on the Google Drive app so that you can access them from your phone or computer at a later time. The Notes app is only available on Apple or iOS devices. It is free, and the advantage is that the Notes app is already available on all Apple devices. And the Microsoft Office Lens app is available for both Apple and Android devices, and it is also free. How to use apps for scanning. How to use Tap Scanner. Download and open the Tap Scanner app. Press continue and allow all the permissions. Subscribe with your app store. Start scanning by clicking on the camera icon. Click either multi-single, depending on how many documents you will scan. Take a photo when document is hi highlighted in blue. How to use tap scanner. Continued. Crop to fit the document by dragging the points and then click the check mark. This is an option, but you can also select a filter. If you do select a filter, you wanna click the check mark again. Save by clicking the icon on the top right. Choose if you want to save it as an image or a PDF, then click save. You can share the scanned document by pressing this button. Then you can send it through email or another app or save to Google Drive or Notes. Now we're going to talk about how to scan using Google Drive. First, we're going to download and open the Google Drive app. Sign into your Google account. Tap the plus button on the bottom right. Tap on scan. Take a photo of your document and tap the check mark. We can edit the scan using these icons, which will be below the photo. Tap on save. Then you can name your document accordingly and choose in your drive where you want it to go. Tap on save. Next, we're gonna be talking about how to scan using the Notes app. Open the Notes app on your phone or iPad. Create the new note by tapping the icon in the bottom right. Tap on the camera icon above the keyboard. Tap on Scan Documents. Take a photo is what you want to tap on next. Adjust the corners to the paper by dragging the point. 
Next, you're going to click either scan or retake for a clearer picture and repeat that same process and click save on the bottom right. How to scan using the Office Lens app. Download and open the Microsoft app. Choose the document by swiping left. Point the camera to the document until a red box appears around it. Take a photo. Adjust your photo crop if needed. And then you can tap to convert. Swipe up to add filters. Edit scan with icons to the right. Tap done or the icon to the bottom left and add more documents you can scan. Tap on the app you want the scan to be saved to. Change the name of the scan by clicking on the pen icon. Then click save when finished. For best results, make sure you have overhead lighting on the document. Be careful about casting shadows on the document. Keep the phone as still as possible when you're scanning. Make sure the document is laid flat and on a good hard surface. Use the crop feature to cut the background out. How to access scanned documents. Accessing scanned documents. In phones or the homepage of the Tap Scanner app, just search the date the scan was taken or the name you rename the scan by tapping the second icon on the top. Look in your Google Drive or in a specific folder you chose to save the scanned document to. In notes, the note was named as you saved it as. In the Office Lens app by tapping the three vertical dots to the top right and selecting files to show save scans. Now let's take a tour of a scanning app. So to use Tap Scanner, which I'll be showing you how to use now, we can start by clicking on the App Store. It's a blue icon and it says App Store under. Now that we're here, it normally starts on today and sometimes search, but we can click on today. We're going to type in Tap Scanner. This is the one we're looking for right here. You can click on that. It will normally say get or download. I already have it, so I'm gonna click on open. So how to start a scan is by clicking on the camera icon and then moving so you can get your document in range. Clicking on the picture, it will say processing. And then we want to click on finish. Now we can crop to make sure our document is perfect. Then we can hit the check mark. Now we have the options of saving the original auto, perfect, black and white. I'm going to save the original. You can also edit the brightness of the document right here. So edit the contrast. Then clicking on the check mark. Sometimes this comes up asking you to use Tap Scanner Pro. You can click on that X if you do not want to do that. Here's where you can click to download it and export it. So you can choose a PDF or an image. A PDF is a document that cannot be edited. You can change this to medium. There's different types of quality, small, medium, regular, max requires Tap Scanner Pro. So I am gonna leave it at regular. And then clicking on share will then give you access to text messaging someone with it or emailing it. 